What's up everyone? Welcome back to another World Science video. Today is a hot topic. Can you outrun a bad diet? It's controversial, but yes, new evidence suggests that an extra hour of exercise might just offset the negatives of overeating. But how does that work? In this video, I'll dive into the surprising details of a recent study revealing how physical activity can offset poor nutrition. There are a multitude of health benefits from being active, benefits that go far beyond what a diet alone can achieve, even without weight loss. All right, let's dive into the science. This is one of my all-time favorite studies, and I have to say this means a lot. 26 active healthy men were randomly allocated to the following groups. Group A, we call them Group A, overconsumed 50% of their normal calorie intake and reduced step count to maximal 4,000 steps a day. This was monitored with a step counter. Group B did similar, overconsumed 50% of the calories, but were forced to run for 45 minutes during the study period. Important, the study period was quite short, only seven days. Important fact, energy intake and expenditure was super carefully monitored in this study, which was nice. The group that exercised obviously expended more total calories than the group who did not exercise. The researchers accounted for this by letting the exercisers eat an additional 700 kilocalories per day. This led to an overconsumption of more than 2000 kilocalories in each group's daily. That is a lot, right? 2000 calories. So what happened? First things first, as intended, both groups gained significant amount of weight. 2.7 kilograms in the overeating group, so group A, and 1.6 kilograms in the overeating group plus exercise. Slightly less, but those were not significantly different. What about health parameters? Seven days of overeating and reducing activity deteriorated health. Obviously, especially insulin metabolism went downhill. Researchers often measure this by an oral glucose tolerance test. Basically, it is consuming a large portion of sugars, in this case 75 grams, and then see how much insulin the body has to produce to remove all this sugar from the bloodstream. The participants in group A, the overeating group, um, so they ate too many calories but did not do any exercise, got less insulin sensitive. This means that the pancreas had to produce more insulin to ex extract the same amount of glucose from the bloodstream. All right, this is what happens when, for example, people get diabetic or pre-diabetic. The pancreas has to pump out more insulin to get rid of the same amount of sugar from the blood. All right, so let's look at the second group, right? The group that also overeat, but they did daily running. Strikingly, just adding 45 minutes of exercise completely rescued this reduction in insulin sensitivity even though they ate 50% too many calories and also gained weight. Insulin sensitivity was the same as before as, be as when they started the experiment. What about other parameters? Not only insulin, right? Several genes measured in adipose tissue of, or fat tissue of the participants showed the same pattern. Severely upregulated in the overeating group, but repressed in the overeating plus exercise group. The magic of exercise. Perfectly pictured in this meme. Of course, this was a short-term study. There is nuance here. Obviously, if a person would eat crap all day and lack specific vitamins or minerals, this is key in his or her diet, this would be detrimental for health. But there is no question about that. I just made this video simply because I find in society there's way too much attention for weight loss, right? without considering the independent health effect of exercise. For instance, there is epidemiological data showing that it is better to be fat and fit than slim and unfit if we talk about health. This fits obviously very well to the short-term uh, short study that I just explained. If weight loss per se is the goal, only doing a lot of exercise is not going to cut it. You will have to change your diet in order to eat less calories. But if health is the goal, and with health I mean better insulin sensitivity, improved blood parameters like cholesterol, less risk of developing chronic diseases, exercise is 100% king. All right, 
That was it for today's video. Comment below if you love or overeating while exercising hard, like me for example. Please leave a like and a subscribe to the channel. This really helps us out, you know, to make our channel grow. Stay fit, stay healthy, catch you in the next video. Ciao!